Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Praying the Promises of the Cross and our Memory Dex creation. So we are on day 36, and today we are going to be focusing on 1 John 4.18. So let's go ahead and read that. So it says... Um, well, it's talking about, let's just read the title. It's about loving one another. And I think we'll just start reading at 13, because just so we can get a better context of what's happening here. So it says, And God has given us his spirit as proof that we live in him and he in us. Furthermore, we have seen with our own eyes and now testify that the Father sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. All who confess that Jesus is the Son of God have God living in them, and they live in God. We know how much God loves us, and we have put our trust in his love. God is love, and all who live in love live in God. And God lives in them. And as we live in God, our love grows more perfect. So we will not be afraid on the day of judgment, but we can face him with confidence because we live like Jesus here in this world. Such love has no fear because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment. And this shows that we have not only fully experienced, well, let's read that again. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment. And this shows that we have fully not accept, experienced his perfect love. We love each other because he loved us first. So, um, I think I, when I was reading this, I was like, because I deal with a lot of fear, but I don't know, you know, there, to me there's different kinds of fears. I don't, um, I don't think that I'm fearing God's punishment. Now, I think there has been times when that has happened. Um, and I think it's because I've been, I've been doing more of a performance-based faith than a graced faith base. I mean, a grace-filled faith. So I think, you know, I think there have been times for that, but the, for the majority of the time, my fears are, are different fears. And, um, you know, I don't know that they're totally always about fearing his punishment. So, but I really liked when it said that, um, if we have the kinds of fears that we feel like we're, you know, we're fearing God for his punishment, then we have not fully experienced his perfect love. So I think that's something to always keep in mind, that if we're fearing his punishment, then we need to go back and really uh, read scripture and promises and all that that Prove to us how much God loves us. And again, like we were talking about yesterday, there's definitely, even though punishment and discipline are synonyms and they pretty much are the same thing in our worldly dictionary, they are not the same thing in God's world. And that's why I always think about when he says, you know, my ways aren't your ways and my thoughts aren't your thoughts. And I I think a lot of things that we have come to learn on this earth are totally opposite of what God says. So, um, 
I think there is definitely a difference in his vocabulary that on punishment and discipline. I think it's no, you know, when a loving father loves his children here on earth and cares about their well-being, he will discipline them. And because he doesn't want them to be unprotected, right? And to live, to go out into a world and do wrong things that will harm them. And I think that's the kind of, of you know, discipline that, that our father shows us. He loves us so much that he wants, he's not going to just let us do whatever we want without discipline. Uh, earthly fathers don't do that. So, unless they're not good earthly fathers, which there are those out there like that too, but um, I'm, I'm comparing it to godly earthly fathers who love their children so much. So, I just think that there's a big difference there. So, let's go ahead and pray and then we'll see what I created for today. Oh, dear Heavenly Father, today we are facing another word that we don't like, fear. And once again, it is because of those who put the false teachings in our minds, as we saw in yesterday's verses. When others tell us that everyone will be judged for their actions, they forget to leave out the part that we are all not judged the same way. With you living in us through Christ, we have no reason to fear this because we have been saved from punishment. Instead, we look forward to the day of judgment because it will mean the end of sin and the beginning of a face-to-face -face relationship with Jesus. Until that day, because you love us so much, you Dis, you, you will discipline us, not because you don't love us, but because you love us so much and your disciplines are for our protection. So today, Lord, help us to remember of this love that you have for us. We can resolve these types of fears by focusing on your immeasurable love for us. I pray all these things in your name. Amen. Okay, so let's see what I created for today. So let's see, pull out some of the products that I used. Then we'll pull in my card and I'll tell you what I used for each of them. From each of them okay so here it is so what I wanted to do was since it talked about um, that when we have these kind of fears of being punished that we need to resolve them by focusing on God's immeasurable love for us so I wanted to do this focus on his love and Again, this is a printable, the background here, as well as that image. I did bring it into Canva and put on his love in there. And um, I die cut focus out of uh, this playful alphabet die set. And I pulled in the color... Um, it's a retired color, Pacific Point, because I think that really matched this, this paper. So that's the cardstock that I used was uh, Pacific Point. Make sure, I, yeah, Pacific Point. And then I liked how there was these like leaves and sprigs there in the background. So I wanted them to be light enough. So I kind of did some off stamping but I brought in this Lighting the Way stamp set so that I could use some of, like I used this one and this one. And I used the 
wild wheat and old olive, but I didn't stamp them full strength because I wanted it to be light. I wanted it to kind of match that paper there in the background and, and also in the photo here of that camera. So then I used my stylish shapes again to die cut the circle out. And then if you notice this time, I not only used that one die here, but I also used it on the designer paper in the opposite direction because I wanted to um, not have it go just straight across. I wanted a little curve there because I was curving the letters. So that's why I did that. And I was wanted to pop it up a little higher because this is popped up, but I used some thinner pop dots, but then I wanted this to really pop up. So that's when I pulled in my foam adhesive strips. Well, that was difficult trying to get those cut down and small enough. See, like you can still see a little bit behind that S there, you know, but I did the best I can to get it, you know, in those little areas there and, a, and I popped them up there. And then on the back side, I used some more printable paper. And um, because that paper kind of had triangles and stuff, that's when I pulled in my stitch triangle dies and did some, that's where I die cut them out to do my scripture writing, again in the Pacific Point marker. And then I did a little sponging around there with a very light touch of the wild wheat, the same way I did on the circle there on the front. So I love it. I think it turned out very nice. So I hope this will remind me and all of you that when we find ourselves getting into those moments of fear where we're thinking that God is mad at us, that we need to focus on his love and remember that. So, all righty, there we go. There's our card for today. Hope you enjoyed that. And um, we'll be back again tomorrow for day 37. Getting closer and closer to the end of this series. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And until tomorrow, remember, choose joy. And may God bless you all. Bye-bye.